for five bucks. Oh, boy! Hey, what's the big idea? This seating is full. Business. <laughs> Hiya, chum. Glad to know you. Glad to hey, know you. Up? I can tell by the way you're ogling this dining emporium that you are a woodpecker who enjoys packing away the groceries. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> the answer is D. I am always right. Yeah. Oh, and uh, because you are a culinarian of the highest order. I am about to introduce to you a revolutionary new device. It will give you free chow for life. May I present, tum ta ta tum, the fabulous food box by Scamco. <gasps> it's a shipping crate. Oh, it may look like an ordinary shipping crate, but can an ordinary crate turn any object into delicious food? Okay, prove it. No problem. How's about a fresh glass of water made from, say, uh, this old nail? One fresh glass of water, old fabulous food box. Old glass of water coming up. There's probably water in that pipe. Ah, 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 ah. No sneak previewing. Wow! Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Oh, well, I'll check on your water. Yeah, quick, Twiggy. Make like a cork and plug that leak. How many boxes you want, sport? Not so fast. Let me see you turn this hubcap into a large pizza. Oh, you want your boy, you don't. One super deluxe pizza pie on the double. Oh, fabulous food box. Pizza's ready! So, you're gonna buy the box now, Woodpecker? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> After dessert. Hey, make me an ice cream cone from, uh, this rock. Ow! One ice cream cone, oh fabulous food box. We're recalling the rocky road, but you can have this rock. Look, you crazy woodpecker. You only get inside the box after you pay. <laughs> wow! Rocky Road, my favorite. <laughs> I love this box. <laughs> and I love your dough. My very own fabulous food box. I'll never be hungry again. One grilled cheese sandwich, please. Extra greasy. Hmm, must be ready. That's the worst grilled cheese sandwich I ever had. Hey, what's the big idea? So that's it. They were scamming me with food from the buffet. The second seating is about to begin. Hey, Bob, we gotta talk. Hmm? Extra, 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 extra. Whoa! Hey, boss, isn't that the sucker we just suck at a lot? <laughs> but that's impossible! I, uh, think we might have sold you a defecative food box there, sport. 
Oh, yeah. We might need to recall this model for ourselves and such. He a me for, uh... Retooling purposes, that is. Whoa! Uh, let me take a quick look see inside. Whoa! Oh, what? It's working! Food! Oh, food! Food! It's really making food, Twiggy. We gotta take this box in for some serious service and sport. It's gonna cost ya. Oh, uh, here's your 50 bucks back. You want me to give up free food for life for a lousy 50? No way! Fine, fine, take everything I got. Just give me the box. <laughs> Just thinking about all that food's making me stronger, boss. It seems lighter already. We just made the find of a lifetime! Woohoo! Ten, fifteen, twenty. That should cover the food they stole from you. And here's an extra five for my ticket to the buffet. No, 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 no. This one is on the house, Woody. <gasps> of the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout. Slapshot's Medley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> So fast, small fry. You're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up. My reputation's on the line. And before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big-time hockey move. 
That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they called a face off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in hockey scout. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Son, something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy. How's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, Penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. Lover, I'm here to tell you about Colonel Pop's Sweet Corn Chunk Sweepstakes. Here's your game piece, and good luck. Oh, boy. I won! Woody Woodpecker, you've just won your very own farm. Imagine it. Here, swamp, mud pies. Say, Bob, I want a sweepstakes and I'm taking over the Colonel Pop's corn farm. Do you know where it is? You city folk are funny. <laughs> Seems you got all turned around. Colonel Pop's corn farm is, uh... uh -huh. Why, the farm is, uh... 
right here. You've arrived. <laughs> uh, excuse me, just a country sec. I'm the new farm caretaker. <laughs> Gabby Gator. Whoa. your farm, son. This is a swamp. Right, a uh, swamp farm. <laughs> Look, Bob, I won myself a farm with all the trimmings. So, where's my tire swing? Uh, isn't that it over there? Where? Oh, oh, oh. silly me. My mistake, it's over here. And where's my corn? <laughs> where's my... Oh, you city folk. This isn't swamp corn season. Well, then where's the corn grub, Bob? Oh, yes! Come right up. Now you just enjoy yourself, son. <laughs> Coming right up. I'll teach this gator never to mess with a woodpecker again, much less try to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> Swing, Gabby. I want corn fritters, Gabby. Let me drive a tractor, Gator. Oh, I'll tell you, it's no good when dinner bosses you around. farm up the way. <laughs> Excuse the fashion show here. I I've been waiting for the Colonel Pops contest winner to arrive, but some dumb gator's been causing me a whole heap of trouble. I you haven't seen him, have you? Hey, I'm the contest winner. <laughs> and there's your dumb gator. <laughs> Come here, you corn napping varmint. <laughs> Come here, you ain't just in this for nothing. I'll get bit by Kay right now. Mm. Ah, nothing like a good old-fashioned live 
Country Show. <laughs> with his peck pecking and... Order in my court! This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! No. First, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> you're cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. A woodpecker getting flushed down the jaw. A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller. A dinosaur eating a woodpecker. But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Mimi. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Oh, God, she's attacking me. Mimi, ah, stop. <laughs> ah, help me, Doc. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> we had two doors. Who knew? <laughs> I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. It'd take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Uh, my true inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Ah, uh -huh. oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution aversion therapy. These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Mimi. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. <laughs> You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Served you right, Woodpecker! Ah! Oof. You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. Oh, what's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must 
be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, Woodpecker, what's that funny-looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 That's it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. This is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pitching, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. This is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I thought I would! Mommy? <laughs> well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Meanie. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. Well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of herring? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. I know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup, I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. Huh? Come back here, you little stowaway. This here's a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. Oh, 
hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. And stay out, you freeloading fish napper! Nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. <laughs> Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> And stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. Almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! Lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Ah! I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of vodka. Whoa! Oh, let me help her. I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay. I trust... Oh, Ferd! <laughs> <laughs> Pack. Uh... Get off of me, you... <laughs> Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heek and duper poopers. No way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. Hold it, Wally. It. I promise you don't want to whip this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoopa Whatchamacallits. Hoop. <laughs> oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any Hickapookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! I still have you, my pride and <coughs> shining joy. Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't. Wait a minute. These Heakin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Dad, uh, yeah, No! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Uh. Oh. 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 Just add water. Okay. Drinking <laughs> oh. water upside down. Okay, that should do it. Say, I'm from the Book of World Records, and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hikapookters. That'd be him. Well, if they are truly record breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars! A million dollars? Why, sure! He's got the super duper hika pooper thingies! <laughs> I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he. You get nothing for Decker! I give you a world record hika pooper. Yeah, you bet! <laughs> Okay, guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait, yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Yeah. I know I can do it. Well, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. Ah, finally. Sleep. Hey, ah! The 
Pika Poopters. Oh no. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> to TV's favorite game show, Scavenger-Rama, with your host, Junkyard Jim. And now, <laughs> a big Junkyard welcome for our first contestant, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we like your spunk. Now, let's meet your opponent! Ah, Buzz Buzzard! Hey, I'm not playing against that lousy cheater! Who you calling a cheat? Okay, okay, fellas. I see you two already know each other. <laughs> Save it for the game. <laughs> Happy contestants are off buckling into their scavenger mobiles because they'll soon be racing around the city, solving game clues and collecting scavenger hunt items. And the one who brings back all the items wins these fabulous prizes. May the best junk collector win! <laughs> Time for your first clue, contestants. It's like taking blank from a baby. Like taking candy from a baby. Thanks for the answer, Sap. Stare at me, you cheater! Big Baby Daycare Center. The perfect place for finding babies with candy. <gasps> 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 They weren't kidding about the big baby part. Go, 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 giggum, lollipop. Hmm? It's time to start you a college fund. How much for your big sucker, you big sucker? in exchange for that candy. Give me that candy. Now baby needs to burp. Uh -oh. <laughs> Clue number two. <laughs> Never judge a blank by its cover. Oh, ooh, all that time I had for reading in the joint paid off. You never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> hmm, Frankenstein. Poison! <laughs> <laughs> Call of the Wild, one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Wait a minute. He's gone. I'll just take uh, the three musketeers here. Oh, for one. And one for the war. Oh, look, three musketeers, the abridged version. <laughs> So long, Sap. <laughs> the score is tied one to one. And here's your next clue. A blank and his money are soon parted. Huh? 
What's that mean? I got it. <laughs> hey, what's he doing heading back to the studio? <laughs> You can't win. You never found a last scavenger item. Right okay, okay. Let's say it's a tie. Then we'll split all the prizes 50 50. You know, you're right, chum. And I'm getting first pick. Oh, oh, I won, I won. Oh, 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 wonderful. <laughs> all righty then. Let's see what items you brought back, Woody. Like taking candy from a baby. Never judge a book by its cover. And the final clue? A blank and his money are soon parted? Oh, that's easy. A fool and his money are soon parted, Junkyard. Did you bring us back a fool, Woody? I sure did. And there he is. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Woody Woodpecker <laughs> is today's scavenger Rama champion! <laughs> We tied! I didn't lose! That's right. There are no losers on Scavengerama, Mr. Buzzard. You win the consolation prize! A fun-filled day with Anna! Oh, boy! You mean a date with the Goyle who points to the fabulous prizes? No. Anna, the junkyard dog! <laughs> No! Stop! Ah! 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 <laughs> Hi, Winnie here. Oh, Genie! Today's paper? Yes, it's right. <gasps> oh, my. High Society Ball tonight. Upper Crust begs the question, who will be the new It Girl? The brightest star of the new High Society season, the new toast of the town. <laughs> what do you mean I can't be the new It Girl? <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna prove it. Except... I don't know a thing about high society. Wally Swedish Finishing School. High society, here I come! Wally Swedish Finishing School. This is where I start my social climb. Oh, oh yoy. You got that certain something, you bet. That's it for sure. <laughs> you really think I got it? Ooh, such grace, such poise. You could become the toast of high society. That is, with my <clears throat> expert instruction. Wow, well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> now, you must learn to speak properly if you want to be part of high society. Uh huh. Please read this sentence. Jumping Jiminy. Why, your jewels look just lovely. No, 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 no. Now repeat after me. Yump and Yiminy, why, your jewels look just lovely. Jump and Jiminy, why, your jewels look just lovely. Ah, no, 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 no. Here, put this in your mouth and try it again. Are you sure this is how you speak at a high society ball? By Yingo, that's the lingo. Now say the sentence like all my high society friends would say it. Yumpin Yiminy, why your yours look just lovely. Yeah, you've almost got it. Just need a lilt in your voice. Yumpin Yiminy, why your yours look just lovely. Ooh, you're going to beat this here's it girl for sure. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> First impressions are everything. How you enter a room can make or break you in high society. You must walk with purpose, dignity, and grace. Like so. Ooh. 
people will know you are a refined member of the upper crust. Yeah, sure. All it takes is a little practice on Volley's tire training system. Go now, walk through the tires. Just remember, Vinny, chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. <laughs> Keep your arms in. Keep your arms in. Hmm. Aha! I got just the thing to help you with those crazy arms. <laughs> yeah, now waddle those hips to the beat. Doinky, doinky, arms in, perfect bottle. You're sure to be a star when you walk into any room like that. <laughs> Table manners make or break you in high society. No, 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 my dear. You must do as everyone does at all the biggest parties. Watch closely. Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this is how they'll eat at the High Society Ball tonight? Oh, yeah, you bet. With this last bit of training complete, you're sure to be the belle of the ball. Now you try. <laughs> now your training is complete. I have never seen a girl who had it like you have it, Vinnie Woodpecker. Congratulations! You are my star. Now go party with all your hearty. Here it goes. Yump and yeemini. Why your yous look just lovely. <gasps> Who will be the new it girl this year? Do you think, eh? <laughs> Was it my posture, or your something I said? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I did everything Molly said to. Wow! <gasps> Chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. The walrus vaults! And it's the best I've ever seen! Ladies and gentlemen, the walrus high society ball has found its new it girl! Thank you, thank you! Hello, Genie! Look at your paper! You won't believe it! Who can I make say, I love you? <laughs> Another satisfied Valentine's Day customer. I bet you've never had a date on Valentine's Day in your life. Well, I'll bet you never have a date on Valentine's Day no matter how long you live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I bet I could get a date before you could. Well, I'll bet I can get a date before you. Okay, it's a bet then. You bet it's a bet. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Wait till you see me in my new red Valentine's dress tonight. The only thing I'll be shattering are hearts. Oh. 
Single walrus seeks ideal date. Must be clean, parasite free, whiskers a plus. Woodpecker seeks ideal date. Oh boy, here's my destiny. Hey, hello. Hey, baby, how about you and me going out stepping? Tell me what you look like first. <laughs> Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Fifth and vine at seven. <laughs> A saucy little bird. Oh, mama. Hey, I'm walking here. Why, you? I'll. Hmm. No good, Lord dirty please. boy. I Bucket, bucket on the floor. Who's the prettiest forevermore? Ah, when I get my hands on that culprit, who? Ah ha! Help! <laughs> no good hooligans. <laughs> Now, who's responsible? No, oh, never mind. Just hurry up. I have to get ready for my date. So double time and share if you have to, but move it. I don't hear you sharing in there. Share and share alike. Share and share alike. Crazy woodpecker. Ah, smooth, smooth legs. No more flaky ankles. like a hot tomato. Good evening, madam. Where's that other monkey? Let's move it, you big lock nut! I'll be done in your stay yiffy for sure. 7.30, on time and looking fine. <gasps> okay, woodpecker. Now I show you once and for all you're not so smart as you think. I place this ad so my date will be here before yours. You bet. Oh. Cupid, buddy, give me that a second. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Mr. Walrus, don't you look dashing? Oh, Minnie, 
You are as beautiful as a fjord in the summer, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, won't you be my valentine, okie dokie? <laughs> you got no right. <laughs> That'll teach you. Hiya, buddy. <laughs> 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 